What's up, everybody? Christmas came early. It is time for Heritage Battles. I'm super excited. My monster boxes came in early, and I caved in, man. I went to my LCS, and I got two hobby boxes. So today and tomorrow, we're doing hobby versus retail, which is my favorite. We're going to put one hobby box up against two monster boxes. Hobby boxes, obviously, one auto or relic. And the monster boxes are known for my favorite, the blue sparkles. So really excited to get into this. I love Heritage. I've been talking about it on the channel for a couple weeks now. Uh, real quick, I want to do a member shout out to Ben. Shout out to Ben for joining our channel memberships. Since we opened them up four days ago, Ben's the third person in four days to join. Super excited about that. Ben always comments on the videos. Ben, I appreciate you. Um, I always appreciate your insight and your comments. So thank you so much for signing up. And I am ready to get into this. Let's let's just get let's just get going. So I wanted to uh, basically. Well, first of all, if you haven't seen the channel before, um, I'm going to get all these packs out of here, and we're going to go back and forth. Um, the monster boxes are going to have a few a few more packs than the single hobby, obviously. So we will have to go um, multiple monster packs <clears throat> up against one hobby pack. But we will go back and forth, and then at the end, we'll kind of do like a pack-for-pack pack thing. Uh, just a PSA, though, to anybody that's buying Heritage. Don't buy fat packs or hanger boxes. If you want to buy them, my advice is always to wait until the price drops, as it inevitably will, um, a while from now. Fat packs and hangers just do not bring the same value that you can get out of a hobby box, blasters, or monster boxes. So just keep that in mind. Um, I never recommend buying those. I only buy them when they're like, I find them like extremely discounted. So keep that in mind. Uh, before we get into this, obviously we're gonna have a box topper. Let's take a look at that. Here's that. It's gonna be Carl Yastrzemski box topper. It's actually in really good shape. So that's pretty cool. I love the uh, 75 design, so we'll put the box topper in the background there. And let me get these hobby packs out and we will get going. Hobby versus retail is back. Had a ton of fun doing this with series one. So I gotta imagine that Heritage is gonna be just as exciting. We're gonna start on the monster side with two monster packs. And let's get right into it. This this might be a little bit of a longer video. I mean, there, there's a lot of packs to rip through here. Plus, I want to enjoy this here a little bit. It's my first look at Heritage. The design is great. I love these. Very nice. So uh, the variations are going to have, right, right by the number here is where you'll see, you know, if it's a color variation or an image variation or something. And the short prints this year are 1 to 100, which is really weird. I don't know why they did that. I always liked it um, being the high number short prints, but they changed it this year. The low numbers are actually the short prints. So nothing really going on in that first pack. You can, like I said, you just do this when you're opening packs and just take a peek at the numbers and just make sure. The short prints are most likely going to be flipped around, so you won't have to worry about identifying those. But the image variations in Heritage can be really, really tough to spot sometimes. So you got to be careful. Okay. A lot of base in Heritage. Um, it's always like that. New Age Performers, our first insert. Zach Grinke. I'm not a huge fan of the New Age design this year, but there goes that one. And I think the image variations are gonna be in that spot that we just saw with the insert. I think it's gonna be that like second to last spot, but we'll see as we go along here. All right, this is the hobby side, first hobby pack. New Age Performers is gonna be Manny Machado on that side. Quick look. Two monster packs. I'm really curious to see what the blue sparkles look like this year. It's my favorite every year for Heritage is the blue sparkles. Love them. They sell really well and they look really, look at Yogi. That's awesome. They look really cool if you decide to keep them as well. 
Here is a, is this a new like insert type card? Tampa Bay Rays, huh, black bordered. I don't know much about this. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll see if, I don't know if that's anything special. Nolan Shanuel rookie card. We'll see if we get one of those in the hobby box or we get more of those. Our first blue sparkle coming up right here. There's James Altman. Oh, we got a chrome. That's kind of snuck up on me. So here's a chrome from the monster box to $9.99. That's going to be Keitel Marte. Chrome. I thought for a second, I thought that autograph was real. It looked like actual ink. But this is a chrome to $9.99. Keitel Marte. It's nice. Corbin Carroll. And Brandon Nimmo for my Mets is going to be the first blue sparkle. These are very nice. Again, they don't disappoint. Very nice blue sparkle there. Color match for the Mets. Hobby pack. Here's our first look at a short print coming up. There's Adley. Um, 23 highlights, 400th save. Kimbrel becomes eighth to reach 400 save. So that's our first short print. Two monsters. I won't have to do two monsters for very long, but I wanted to go kind of a pack for pack deal by the end. <clears throat> okay, so this short print is not turned around, so we do have to be careful. Take a look, guys. Kyle Finnegan, that's number 41. Again, the short prints are 1 to 100. So we got to be a little bit careful with these. I thought they were turned around. Looks like Looks like they are turned around in hobby, but monster boxes, we might have to be, be a little diligent with these. And remember, the short prints hold some value. This is a set builder's type of um, product. So the short prints are coveted because people are trying to build the sets. There's Raphael, a rookie card. There's a cool then and now. Mike Schmidt and Shohei. I like that. First then and first look at our then and now. Hobby pack. Justin Martinez rookie. There's a Dick Williams. Throwback manager card. As Waldo Cabrera. Okay. Two monster box packs. Non short print there, Ben Joyce. Nothing doing in that one. A lot of base in Heritage. Again, if you're new, it's very tough to pull big hits out of Heritage. When you do, though, it's awesome. That's what I'll say. Uh, that's definitely something different there. We have. Seventy five BS. Huh. I'm not sure what these ones are called. Again, I'm not this is my first look at Heritage, so definitely a cool insert there though. Whatever that whatever that is. And then a short print behind it. So that is card number twenty, Brandon Jury. That's a short print as well. That was a nice little pack there. Let's go over to the hobby side. There's Michael Harris, TJ Friedel. There's baseball flashbacks. That's interesting. These the color design is uh, is really interesting there. So Tom Seaver on the baseball flashbacks. Um, yeah, I'll still go two here this round. I think that's a part of the set although this is white this is white bordered 
Um, so I'm going to set that one aside because that one actually might be something because it's white bordered. We'll have to set that aside and take a look. New Age Performers, Paul Goldschmidt. <clears throat> and there's a blue sparkle, Logan Webb. Sharp looking card. Zach Geloff, he had a home run last night. Noel de Marte, no short prints there. Hobby side. Man, there's a ton of packs. <laughs> you got something turned around in here. That's going to be a short print. Luis Garcia. I think Luis Garcia was a short print in another year of Heritage, I want to say. Luis Garcia short print and 71 MVPs. Monster box side. There's Bobby Witt. My first look at his Heritage card. That's pretty cool. There's a short print. Francisco Mejia. Yandy Diaz and Louis Arias. And Tommy Henry is the blue sparkle. I'm actually kind of surprised at some of the names. And that's a blue sparkle short print because that's a 1 to 100. I'm kind of surprised that some of the names with these blue sparkles are not as big a names. Last year with the blue sparkles, you got big names in there. Um, you, you, most of the superstars or the rookies were in there. You're kind of getting some normal players this year, so that's interesting. We have a relic. I can feel it, unfortunately. That's – oh, no, wait. This is the monster side, so not unfortunately. I thought it was Hobby for a second. Oh, nice. Tristan Casas. So we did get a relic out of the monster side. Clubhouse collection. Very nice. Yeah, Hobby, you don't want a relic because you want that autograph. Here's Tom Seaver. So this is the same as this. So this Kershaw is a base insert. I apologize. Like I said, I didn't. I haven't seen um, many of these rips yet. Baseball flashback Seeger, and there's a Mookie. Nice Mookie bets. All right, hobby side. I'm gonna start doing. Um, oh, we did get a relic. Darn it! That's what usually happens with Heritage. You, in a case, you'll be lucky to get four or five autos. It's very tough. And the relic is Brian Reynolds. It's part of the reason why I don't like Heritage Hobby. I'm just hoping that there's image variations in here, like a big image variation. So Brian Reynolds Clubhouse Collection. There's Tommy Edmond. We'll do another hobby pack. Also hoping for a little bit better chance. Maybe it's, you know, some numbered cards this year out of hobby. There's Abner Uribe, rookie card I really like. Tanner Beebe. We have New Age Performers this is Max Scherzer and Jordan Adams, rookie card. Over to the monster side. Oh, the monster producing, baby. Autograph legend, Raleigh Fingers. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. So a Raleigh Fingers autograph, the monster side, is just destroying already. Look at that beautiful. on. Look, when you pull autos in Heritage, they're awesome. It's an on-card auto from a Hall of Famer. Beautiful. This is a gradable card. Very nice. Back isn't as perfect as the front, but that is really, really cool. So very nice pull there. The monster, this is why I was saying for the past couple weeks, it's been it's always my favorite format for heritage because you can get autos, the blue sparkles, you can get relics, you can just get all kinds of stuff. Max Meyer, Buxton. Thought that was a missing signature for a second, but it is on there. Spencer Strider, Brendan Rogers. That's a short print. So Brendan Rogers, short print. Jared Triolo. Okay. Let's do a couple hobby packs. 
Bobby's got some serious work to do. We might need a real good sharp or a real good uh, image variation to come back from that. There's Corbin Carroll, Bobby Miller, and short print Mitch Keller for the Pirates. Next hobby pack. All right, we got a we got a numbered card in here. You see that shine? Some kind of a chrome. So maybe Hobby can bounce back here. We have beautiful. So Colton Kowser has been ripping it up this season. Had a big game last game. And this is, oh, I didn't know Jackson Wolf was in the set. This is a, a refractor here. And this is a silver, I believe, out of 375. Take a look at that. It's a beautiful pull from Hobby. Colton Kowser, rookie, refractor. Very nice. Heritage pulls are so sharp when they're good. All right. Let's keep it going. This has been fun already. I'm really happy that I did. No, I'm definitely happy I got the Hobby box because I love that Kowser. Colton Kowser's on my Dynasty Fantasy Baseball team. Not that anybody ever wants to hear about that. I would never bore you with that. But clearly, if he's on that team, he's a guy that I like. New Age Performers, Mookie Betts. <clears throat> Anthony Volpe, already second year. So weird to see that already. Harold Ramirez is a short print, number 72, low number short print. Daniel Palencia, we pulled his autograph out of uh, Series 1. All right, let's do a couple hobby packs. Love that Kowser. Wow. We have news flashbacks. These are just a little too colorful for me, but... Uh, news flashback, Soviet unmanned space mission, Venera land, 9 lands on Venus. And Jose Ramirez there on the back. I like that Acuna. Nolan Shanuel. And we have no, card number 100 for the short print, Johan Duran. It's nice. Dalton Varsho. Let's do another hobby pack. And then I'll see where we're at in terms of packs. We can start going pack for pack here. That looked like a base pack to me. And it was. Uh, no, we definitely have more monsters. Let's do two monsters and then I'll evaluate here. Two monster packs. It's Riley Green, Strider again. News flash, or excuse me, baseball flashbacks. First rookie to win AL MVP award, Fred Lynn. Coco Montez. And nothing weird in there. There's Abner Uribe. We have James Outman, cup card. Nothing too crazy in that pack there as well. Okay. Let's go to two hobby. Still got a big old stack of monster packs here. Boba Shet, Ahmed Rosario, and there's a Boba Shet. New Age Performers, Taylor Ward. Another hobby pack. So we got a short print in here. There's Andrew Abbott. Short print is Brian Rochio. Stephen Kwan. All right. We'll do 
three monster packs. Let me just count these real quick. Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. So two monster packs, and then we can go pack for pack starting on the hobby side. There's Davis Schneider rookie card. Luis uh, Capusano is a short print. There's Aaron Judge. Nice picture of him there. Okay, we got somebody's missing part of their card. We ended up getting that. Put that on the stand there. We have news flashbacks. Construction on the Trans-Alaska Pipeline begins. There's some funky stuff like that in, in uh, every year in Heritage. All right, we're going pack for pack. We got about, I think we got 10 on each side left. Hobby first. Here's another white border. So, again, I'm not sure of the rarity of the white border, but it's pretty clear that it's a white border. There. Oh, there it is. It says it right there. Okay. So you can see right up top here. It's I know it's not easy to see. It says white border right above the 448. So that is a variation. Jesus Lazardo. Does it say it on here? Oh, it does. It's very hard to see, but it says white border above the 466 too. So that Corey Seager Rangers card is also, hey, there's Henry Davis. My light just fell over and smashed me in the foot. So that was fun. Here's Henry Davis rookie card, base rookie. That was fun. All right, monster side. It's a nice Lizardo. The white border is actually pretty cool. I like that. Those are nice. There's Hunter Green. And then there's the base of that um, white border card there. Here we go. Austin Riley on the Sparkle. The, see, those are the that's the type of name that you would typically see on the Sparkle. Usually it's a good name. That's a nice one. Color match uh, somewhat with the Braves. I like that. Over to Javi. There's Heston Kierstad just dominating the minor leagues right now. He's going to be up any time, uh, pretty soon. Obviously, Jackson Holiday was just called up. Here's a then and now Raleigh Fingers. We pulled the auto earlier. And Camilo Duvall. Blake Sable. Over to the Monster Pack. Jazz Chisholm, Yoshida on the cup card, Owen White rookie card, and nothing in this pack, I don't believe. Every time I get nothing, I'm like, all right, what did I miss? But that's just, Heritage sometimes has nothing. Series 1 was like that with Javi. There's a lot of base packs. Jeff McNeil, Seiya Suzuki. Here's, oh, cool, a Rose Arena is a short print in this set. That'll be a probably a decent covered, coveted short print, AL All-Star. Rosarina, and there's Colton Kowser. Monster box side. Bryce Harper, Encarnacion Strand, Junior Caminero rookie. Nice pack here. And Carlos Santana is a low numbered short print. Hobby side. Mookie. Oh, I thought it was all green. I got excited. Nothing nothing uh, different on that Mookie there. Nothing special on that pack. Monster box side. New Age Performers, Bryce Harper. It's nice. And there's the J-Rod base. I love the green there. Javi side. Rafaela rookie card. There he is. Ellie De La Cruz. Had a two home run game a couple days ago, including an amazing inside the park home run. And then he just had another home run last night. So 
Ellie is awesome. Here's 1997 Most Valuable Players, Griffey and Larry Walker. Uh, new Age Performers is Giancarlo Stanton. Monster Box side. I think we, we still got some sparkles left. One of them's in here. Freddie Freeman on the New Age Performers. And Jesus Lazardo. Again, so we got the white border of him and the sparkle. Over to Hobby. <clears throat> Curtis Mead and Pete Crow Armstrong. Both in this pack. It's nice. Luis Severino is the short print, number 34. For the Mets, I don't know about him this year. All right, what do we got left here? We're going to have four packs left on each side. We're almost there. Four packs after this one. There's Juan Soto in the Yankees gear. That's cool. Jordan Lawler. There's the insert that I don't know the name of. Xander Bogarts. Jordan Alvarez. All right, let's do two and two. Two hobby packs, and we'll finish this thing out right now. Um, I'm taking the monster box side right now. Cowser made it closer, but let's see what we finish with. Spencer Steer cup card. Quinn Priester rookie card. Another white border. That's going to be Jack Sawinski. So another white border on the hobby side and Bryce Elder on the back. <clears throat> Here's O'Neill Cruz. We have baseball flashbacks. That's going to be Hank Aaron. Nice. And a Brayu. All right, two... Monster packs. Blue sparkle in here. Feel it in the back there. We have <laughs> Rhino. Ryan Sandberg. Oh, that's cool. So it's like a it's like a nickname thing. But this isn't like the nickname variation from from years past, they would have an actual picture of the player. Like Mike Trout's was Millville Meteor, but it had his actual picture. 2023 highlights. Shohei Otani is the short print. That's a cool short print. That's really nice. Monster side killing. And Juan Soto. Wow. Very nice finish here for the monster side. Really cool. Juan Soto in the Yankees gear. All right. Let's see if we can finish with a bang here. We've already done really well. Austin Wells, rookie card. Here's a then and now Blake Snell and Jim Palmer. Nolan Jones, rookie card. Or no, that's not a rookie. That's a cup card. All right, last two hobby packs. We got a turned around short print, Camilo Duvall. And the last hobby pack. Hobby got beat up. <laughs> hobby got beat up as usual with uh, this year's baseball. It seems like I hate that stupid pose. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why, but I just hate that pose. Nolan Jones, that's nothing. There's an Ellie. Another base Ellie. That's not that's not a base Ellie. That's an image variation. Wow. You know, I spoke too soon. Image variation Ellie. Unbelievable. I'm so glad I bought these hobby boxes. What a steal at the end. Oh my goodness. We'll put the base down. Wow. That's amazing. All right. We have two monster packs left. 
I don't know if they can recover from that. Man, I love that Raleigh Fingers autograph, but it just got smoked. What a finish. Okay, so nothing in this pack. These image variations, this is what I was saying about Hobby. The variations, the white borders, the image variations, this might add up to make Hobby decent. And look at what we just got. All right, this is the last pack of the break. Chris Morrell. John Montefusco and Dominic Smith, and there's nothing in there. That's all she wrote, and here I was yapping the whole time about the monsters. I think they just got beat because of this. Ellie, rookie image variation. I'm kind of like in awe right now because when I saw it, when I flipped to it, I just I haven't seen these cards enough to know exactly what the base is. Compared to the image variation, that's really awesome. So you have that, and then, I mean, I'm a big Colton Kowser guy. Really, really nice. Colton Kowser rookie silver refractor, and that's to 375. Um, the monster box was the monster boxes were awesome, though. I mean, you did get one numbered card. We got one really good blue sparkle. You got one of those bordered cards. We got an autograph. So the Raleigh Fingers autograph is awesome hall of famer on card auto but i'm going with the hobby box got it at the very very end with a big time hit um if you guys are interested in the monster boxes i got a link in the description of the video fanatics has those in stock um that was awesome we got another round of this coming up tomorrow and now i'm pumped <laughs> thanks for watching guys